The double standards in those Callaways is ridiculous. Even that aside, this is not a good film, but I really did not like this at all, which is a shame because I usually love most films directed by Norman Tokar. This is, of course, a Disney film from 1964, directed by Tokar and written by Louis Pelletier, based on uh, Swift Water by Paul Anixter. And this is about a character called Cam Calloway, played by Brian Keith, and his attempts to create a sanctuary for these wild geese. That's well and good, and I thought, when I kind of read the brief description on IMDb about that, I thought, okay, even if the film isn't very good, at least they're supporting looking after wildlife, caring for animals, even if the narrative's dull, it's a great message. No, it's not. Because, unfortunately... There is a lot of information in this about fur. Cam Calloway is a fur trapper. And there's this one scene where, this is, a, I guess, a tiny spoiler for something that happens, I don't know, about halfway through the film. And he gives his wife this fur coat. And she's so ecstatically happy to receive this fur that she starts sobbing. You can't have a film about cr creating a sanctuary for wild geese while you're also killing animals for fur. That doesn't sit right with me at all. So yes, it is great to try and create this sanctuary for the geese, whether or not they achieve that, I won't I won't say, just in case you decide to watch this. There are certainly a lot of obstacles along the way. But you can't have that message in the film while also killing animals for fur. It just it doesn't work. It doesn't work and I, I don't like it and I don't agree with it. And I, I think it's a, a bad film in other ways as well. It's very long. The whole thing is over two hours. Now, had it been a compelling narrative, that might have been okay, but it does not need to be that long. There is so much fluff and padding that it just went on and on and on. I'm trying to find some positives. The acting was fine. Towards the end, something happens to one of the characters that I thought was unexpected and... I had a small emotional response. I wouldn't say I was emotionally invested in this. In fact, I had a lot of negative emotions about this. But there were, you know, there was at least one moment where I found that I was responding emotionally to it other than just being annoyed. And also the scenery is is gorgeous. A lot of the scenery is beautiful. This was apparently filmed in uh, Vermont and in particular Jeffersonville, Vermont. That means nothing to me. If you know anything about that area and can confirm that that is the case, please feel free to do so. I don't know exactly how much was filmed there, but we do get a lot of really nice scenery. So visually, it's quite nice to look at. And we do get a lot of animals. Sometimes the animals are alive, which is quite nice. But Honestly, I don't understand the point of a film about creating a bird sanctuary while your protagonist is killing animals for fur. I mean, maybe that's the whole point. They were trying to show the, these double standards, but I just feel like it's pointless. And maybe it's definitely just a product of its time. But because he was killing animals for fur, I did not like our protagonist. I could not care less about him for the most part. And yes, the message about creating a sanctuary was important. And I think that's something that provides some good food for thought. But then when your wife is breaking down in happy tears because you gave her a fur coat, I just, I, I don't want to listen to you. I don't care what you have to say about creating a sanctuary because you're killing animals. So I'm not listening to you. It's not a good film. It's very long. It's very long-winded. It's a bit like this discussion, to be perfectly honest. And the characters are not very likable. The performances are absolutely fine. The scenery is really gorgeous at times. And we do have some animals that are alive in this. And they're quite nice to look at. So I couldn't say it's the worst film I've ever seen because there are the aforementioned benefits. But if you're looking for a good, enjoyable film with a solid, well-delivered message, Those Callaways is not the one you're looking for. If you're looking for a Disney film you haven't seen and you haven't seen this one and you want to waste two hours, like I did, please feel free to give it a watch. But I certainly will not be watching it again. <laughs>